Hello YouTube, this is the second installment of W Productions Sports. I just want to adjust the camera a little. Okay, here we go. So, tonight, football. Cowboys, Redskins, and Dallas. Injured Des Bryant. Tony Romo is wearing another vest over his armor that he already has on. He has two sets of um, elbow pads and uh, so shoulder stuff. I can't, I can't describe it. But there was one spot that was basically uncovered. That's the spot they hit him. They broke his rib last week. Now he has to come back and basically do it all again. Um, Des Bryant is injured. He's probably going to be replaced by Kevin Ogletree. He is, I think, sub like predicted to get 15 points this week. He's pretty good. Um, another fact that I want to touch upon, last week in the Giants and Rams game, uh, two defensive men on the um, two defenders on the Giants team suddenly out of nowhere just dropped I mean dropped right in the middle of the field there was no warning there was no replay saying that they were hurt in any way but I mean yeah I just I think it's a very very shameful thing to do in the NFL there are better ways to win you should you should the, if I'm talking to Tom Coffin right now, you should know better ways to handle the no huddle. They were getting creamed out there. I don't know if they won or lost the whole game. I really don't know. But it just looked ugly from what I saw. Okay, now talking about this week. Brady had four, four count them, four, one, two, three, four interceptions against the Buffalo Bills. They lost. Michael Vick lost his game against the G-Men. Uh, Steven Jackson, Cadillac Williams, the duo of the running backs in St. Louis, they lost again, and they lost to the uh, they lost to the Ravens. Andre Johnson and the Houston Texans lost against New Orleans. The the Jets thankfully lost against Oakland. Oakland was playing pretty good last time. They've been traditionally playing very good. I cannot cover all the games today, but I will post some of them on the thing or whatever. Also, I want to touch upon baseball. The Red Sox, right now, they're leading 2-1 to one over the Baltimore Orioles with one game lead over the Tampa Bay Bill Rays in the wild card standings. The Yankees, as you know, have already won the AL East. They have 97 games won. It doesn't matter what they do, we just hope that they beat the Devil Rays. The Devil Rays have a 2-0 two, two deficit on the Yankees right now. We have a 2-1 to one lead on the Orioles with a Jed Lowry home run and a um, crazy error. Um, I think it was the first or second inning. It was just crazy making by the Orioles. The left fielder didn't even throw the ball. Okay, There was a line drive to left field. The left um, fielder Eric Angle, he threw the ball, it was a wild throw, then the pitcher grabbed it, threw to the catcher, the catcher, the catcher dropped it, Scudero got in from third, 1-0, to zero. and then um, Weeders tied it up with the home run, that could have been a catch by um, Crawford, and then Lowry's home run, I'm not sure what the score was, I haven't updated it, but um, my prediction for tonight's game, uh, Cowboys and Redskins, 34-14 to 14 Redskins. They've been playing very well with Reds Grossman. I think that will continue tonight. I don't have a good feeling about Tony Romo. I mean, I know he played good last week, but um, I don't see it happening. So um, I would also like to make a shout-out to O'Toole Boy, Cody O'Toole. His video, he does, he, he's also, um, he's also been doing sports videos, and he touches more upon, um, fantasy than I do. I do more stories. He does a lot of fantasy. He's pretty good with it. Um, go subscribe, like, comment um, with me as well. Subscribe, like, comment. I need comments. I want to post them on the page. I want to hear from you. I'm tired of talking about myself and talking about the league. I want to hear what others have to say about this. Thank you, and I'm, I hope you're having a good week. Go Pats!